Yo guys, what is going on, Tim Pursuit? And welcome back to another video on the channel. We're so icy, wonder why she like me, bitch. I'm drowning in water. I just bought a Cuban, dipped it in a fountain. And so in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a YouTube banner like Alie's. Alie's YouTube banner is just really nice, very clean and simplistic. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make something like that. And yeah, if you enjoy it, then make sure you hit the like button down below. Can we break 100 likes on this video? That would be amazing. Subscribe if you are new. And also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next down below because I'm always reading them. And this video itself was actually suggested by one of you guys. So if you want one of your ideas featured on my channel, then make sure you comment it down below and you, you never know I might use it so yeah if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and let's get right into it right guys so we're here in Photoshop so the first thing you want to do is open up a YouTube banner template and add like a dark background like black but maybe not black just like a really dark gray and first thing we're gonna do is add some spots of white one in the middle we'll just add one down here one down there and set that to overlay Next thing, add a new layer and you want to choose a colour. Alias is blue but I'm going to choose purple because that's like the colour of my YouTube banner and I'm going to click and drag at the bottom and I'm going to bring down the opacity of that. I want it to be quite subtle. I'm going to bring it below the white spots and then I'm just going to rub away. In fact no, I'll add a new layer and then go to the brush, make it black and then round the outside so we're just going to do a bit of black. So that's just like a nice border. I'm going to bring down the opacity of that to about 20%. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the 27k GFX pack, which is mine. You guys probably all have that. And then you want to go to coloured lights. And these are just really good to add into the background, to add a bit of depth. I'm going to choose this one because it is purple, but even if it's not purple, you can still change the colour of it with the hue and saturation. If you just press Ctrl U, you can always change the colour of it to whatever colour you want. But this purple one is very fitting for this. I'll just go through all of them. I think that looks pretty good to me. Colour dodge. So yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is, um, as you can see, this is Alie's YouTube banner right there. And it's got like cool lines and shapes on there, so I'll, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to the rectangle tool, make a shape and you want to make sure it's a colour that you're using so purple for me and I'm going to rasterize it and then I'm going to bring down the fill a little bit and then I'm going to double click on the layer, add a stroke and make sure it's purple or wet colour you're using. So something like that and then set it to colour dodge and then maybe bring the fill up a little bit something like that so what you want to do now is just press ctrl T and put it in random places on the YouTube banner so maybe one there maybe one over here maybe a smaller one down here But for this one, I think I'm going to make the fill zero and then the same for one over here. And then I'm also going to add a bigger one. We'll just make, just have a line. Something like that. And then do the same for down at the bottom over here maybe. That looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, we're gonna add some CC. So you wanna go to brightness, contrast, bring the brightness down, contrast up, color curves, bring that up, bring that down, exposure, bring the exposure up a bit, the offset a little bit, not too much, because it'll re remove all the color. And then bring up the gamma correction. Then you wanna go to color balance and make it, so it like follows your color pattern, so mine's purple. So bring up the blue, the magenta, and the red. Maybe some, 
here it is. And then I'm going to bring that below all the other colour corrections and group it all together. And that just brings everything together a lot nicely. And then I'm going to add a new layer, go to the brush tool and add some spots of white. And set that to overlay. Just makes things pop a lot more. And I'm going to bring that below all the colour curves. So once, you, once you've got that, as you can see, it's coming along very nicely. Um, you can add some particles as well, but next thing I'm going to do is add a picture of myself, which I've already got. So I'm just going to bring that in. It's just an old one. And I'm going to make that smaller. If it'll let me. And I'm going to press Ctrl U and bring down the saturation of that. And I'm just going to create a clipping mask and add a few shadows to it, just to make it look a bit nicer. And then I'm just going to bring down the opacity of that. And what else, you can also do this if you create a clipping mask and then <coughs> choose a colour you're using. So for me it's going to be purple again and then maybe just add a spot of purple and then change that to colour dodge and then bring down the opacity. Make it fit a bit more. What I'm going to do now is just add a spot of white at the top and bring down the opacity. Then what you want to do is if you've got a logo um, like if you've got a logo, you don't have to do this, but just bring that in as well. So I'm going to bring in my Viking mascot because you guys know that that's my logo. And then press Ctrl U and make it the colour that I use. And then I'm going to make it smaller and keep it in the middle because that's where Alie has his logo. I'm just going to group myself and move that bit to the right like so and then what you can do is on the left add social media or just put be sure to subscribe and obviously choose a very clean font so um, something like Antonio Antonio light and maybe increase the spacing on it And also you want to get some text on there with your name. As you can see, that's the font that he kind of uses. I think I might have that, I'm not too sure. I'll put Timpers. It, you basically want just a really bold font that's quite like impact to something. Impact is like really bold and condensed. So I guess you could maybe use that. That's, that looks pretty good like, if you use that. Obviously, Alier's looks a lot nicer. I don't know why, it just does. Because it's probably smaller. Mine's quite a long name. Be sure to subscribe. I'll put that further to the left. And then Timpers can go like that. And then I'm going to set it to purple. It might look better in like a, a white, but I'm just going to try it in purple because that's what Ali has done. He's got it in his nice blue colour. So yeah, I'm just messing around now. That looks pretty good. I think he's got a... Contour, yeah, contour. Uh, 
and yeah I'm just going to rasterize that press ctrl T shift alt and make it a bit slanted and then I'm going to add some final colors and effects to it To be honest, I might just make that white. Actually, no, I'll keep it the same. So now I'm just going to add um, a white rectangle to the bottom, just to round it off, make it look a bit nicer. It's just a thin strip at the top and the bottom. Make sure it's the same exact length. That looks good to me. Um, and then I'm just going to add some final CCs, bring the brightness down, contrast up colour curves, same as usual, exposure, bring the exposure up, bring up the offset a bit and also the gamma correction and yeah, get something like that, looks pretty nice. So yeah, that's um, how to make a YouTube banner like Ali is. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button down below, let me know what video you'd like to see from next and subscribe if you are new and yeah. I hope you're all having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video.